summer lady. I, I always saw him of him as a front man, as you know, because he wrote such great songs and he he was such a great singer. And, um, but I never thought about it until after he died that everybody else knew him as a guy in in someone else's band. And then I, as I as I've seen a lot of the photos that people have have uh, posted of him, I think most of them are, are him playing like with other people, which is interesting. Like, uh, so I've, I've, I've always wondered, you know, who went out and ever, how many photos there are of him doing his thing or singing or, cause he, he, I guess he played a lot at Barley House, but that was sort of a, not really a, a much photographed venue. You know? you know, he was central to that whole scene, you know, and, and even that band getting going and, and now all, you know, guys like Danny Bayless and the King Bucks and, I mean, if there had never been Carter, I don't know, you know I'm sure those guys would have ended up doing something, but most likely uh, not with the amount of local success that they had, you know. Yeah. He was a pretty powerful force. But I think it's also what what why he he added so much to the bands that he was in because because not very many people have the luxury of having a guy backing them up playing their songs that had an, had enough stage presence or presence as a person and power as a musician to be doing their own thing where where probably everybody else in the band should have been backing him up so you know Carter was one even though he was a musician he had this like unbelievable pro Dallas, pro Dallas music, because he recognized the talent that was here and he, he'd been everywhere. Okay. You know, Carter was one, even though he was a musician, he had this like unbelievable pro Dallas, pro Dallas music, because he recognized the talent that was here and he, he'd been everywhere. Thank you.